Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. I have to remind you that this may not resonate with you because this is a general reading, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. This is for hundreds and thousands of people, so please keep that in mind. Bits and pieces may resonate, bits and pieces may not. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. My readings generally turn out to be love readings because I'm focused on love. And it's not, I'm not talking like a love relationship for myself. I'm focused on loving, you know, in general. So this is for the sign of Pisces. I will zoom this in once I get done laying out the cards. I have to remind you guys that time is fluid with the tarot readings, okay? And this is being recorded in November, so this could resonate with you in November. It could resonate for you before November. It could resonate with you probably in December for many of you. It could resonate in January, okay? Time is fluid. I do have to keep my name up there because if I don't, somebody will think this video is theirs and I don't want anybody thinking that. So, um, basis of your reading is the chariot, okay? So many of you are moving forward. You're moving away from something. You could be moving physically, all right? There's definitely some movement this month. Things could be happening fast. I think perhaps um, many of you are, have felt like you were trapped in a situation, okay? You felt like you were trapped and you needed to let something go, and you may be actually letting it go. It could be a job, could be a partner, okay? It could be drama, period. You could be re removing yourself from a dramatic situation. Maybe somebody has lied to you. Maybe you feel deceived, um, perhaps a door was closed and you weren't quite ready to let it close, but maybe this month you actually just are like, fine, close the door. All right. I feel like many of you are moving on. You're moving away from something. Okay. I'm not sure what it is because this is for hundreds and thousands of people and we're going to get a bunch more cards and I'm going to keep going. There's definitely been some, um, you feel defeated in some way, you know, like you feel a loss. There's been some kind of loss. Perhaps things were out of balance and now you are letting that go. Okay. Maybe you're letting go of something that, you know, you had no, you couldn't, it was out of your control. Okay. You couldn't control the situation. So you've decided to walk away from it. I think this month, many of you are starting a new phase of your life. Okay. So I, I really feel like you're just moving away from deceit, lies, trickery. could be even cheating for some of you. Somebody has been lied to and it has hurt. They have resisted the change and perhaps this month they are like, you know what, I'm removing myself from this situation because it no longer serves me. It's too heavy to carry it around. It's too heavy. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so many of you are just going with it. You're going to accept the change and you're moving on. And you're letting the door close. Okay, you may need time to re rest and recuperate. Okay, I feel like many of you um, may be going through that now or it could be going on this month. You may feel like you just want to be alone. Um, I think that many of you have been through a lot and I think a lot of it is mental. All right, you've been through some mental anguish. And um, it could be regarding a partnership, okay? It could be, this could be regarding another person where you've, you've just, you've put in all that you can put in and now you know that you, there's nothing else you can do. You know that it's over. There's nothing else you can do. So the, the only thing you can do is, is let it go. So I think many of you have a completion here, a couple of them actually. There's definitely some completions here where something has ended. You've let go of 
the need to control the situation. It's just like, you know what, I'm going to do what I need to do for me. I'm not going to stay stuck in this place anymore. I'm not going to sit here and wait for something that's never going to happen. All right. It's time for me to take the practical approach. So I think that many of you are, have decided to, to be more practical and to move on. Okay, the basis of your reading is the chariot. You are moving on. You're heading in the right direction. You've mastered your emotions. Okay, I see many of you have are bringing back your balance. You're bring, bringing back you, the control of your life. You're taking back control of your feelings. You're mastering your emotions. Okay, and it hasn't been easy. I think that many, and I don't think that you wear your heart on your sleeve. I'm not saying that. Your inner emotions, okay? I think there's been some hurt. I think there's been, you feel deceived. You feel like you've been lied to, okay? It feels like you've been fighting for something that you were you were never going to get, all right? I feel like... Um, and you've just decided to move on from it. You know, I can't, I'm not going to stay stuck here anymore. And this month could be the month that you actually go through the transformation of moving on. Truly moving on. Okay. Um, I do feel like um, there's a, a new phase ahead of you. I think that that there's a, a major new phase. We have the world card here. It means that you've learned a big lesson. Whatever I'm talking about here, for whoever it is, whoever's watching this, that has learned something big, that hurt, you know, that taught them something big. I think that you learned it. You've learned one lesson, and it's time to move on to the next one. You can celebrate your success now with this card and this card. You were successful. Even if it didn't turn out the way that you had hoped, you learned something from it, okay? And it was big, all right? Um, I'm going to start shuffling while I'm talking for the next one. I think that your stability and your security is coming back. Um, I think that you've put in a lot of work into a situation and um, it, things may have been a little chaotic for you or they're going to be a little chaotic this month. You may feel like you are just can't do it anymore, whatever it is. It could be regarding your job, it could be regarding a person, but I feel like many of you are feeling um, weary, okay? You're feeling like, I'm not sure how much more I can take this. I'm not sh sure how much farther I can go with this. You may feel like you just need to be alone, all right? You don't even want to deal with it. You need time to heal. You may not want to mingle with others. You may feel like, I mean, this is the month of December. I think it's a, you know, it's the holiday season. Season. You may be invited to go somewhere and you may be like, no, I don't, I don't really want to, you know? You just feel like you, you don't want to. You don't need drama in your life right now. Okay, I feel like you guys are just removing yourself from any drama in hopes of bringing structure and um, comfort and peace back to your life and balance. I think that many of you will feel deceived. All right, I do. It's absolutely true that many of you are, have regrets over something. You have regrets over a loss. I think it could be a partnership. You're regretting a loss. It could be, um, it could have to do with a job, but I think, or you have regrets or um, you feel rejected, one or the other, you know. Um, I feel like whatever this is, it taught you something big. Really, really big. And some door was closed. There is no doubt about it. A door has been closed and it hurt. When that door closed, it probably stung you in some way. All right? I, it's, it's, I'm going to keep getting the cards before I keep going because I have a, I have a habit of not doing that. Four of Swords again. Many of you feel dead inside. Okay? You feel dead inside. Or you did. You felt that, so like I said, time is fluid. Some of you have gone past this feeling of so much hurt 
and you've mastered your emotions because the chariot is here. Many of you have already passed this. Some of you have not because we have the nine of swords. Some of you are still in that state of depression. Okay, but these nine say that it's time to close that door and master your emotions. Some of you have already mastered your emotions and refocused. Okay, I think many of you are refocusing on your future. You're putting all of your time and your effort into something else. Many of you are blocking out your feelings still. Like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people. Somebody who is watching this is still blocking out their feelings. They have not mastered their emotions. They're focusing on their work or their job and because they were rejected, okay? Or they have regrets. They've decided to focus on anything but love because there's not a lot of love here. I think many of you are... Um, are really not concentrating on love. If you're looking for a love reading, I don't see that here. I see that many of you have been through a period of hurt and feeling deceived, or maybe you actually were deceived because this is for so many people. And I think that you're actually making progress, okay? You're making progress in, in doing the right thing for you. You're making progress in bringing structure back to your life and I think you are um, moving, many of you are moving away from feeling dead inside. Some of you are, haven't moved away from that yet. I can see that. Some of you haven't let the door close. You're still mulling over it. And it's blocking you, by the way. By you, and you just soon block it out. You just soon block it out, but it's blocking you from... Um, starting this new phase okay from starting this new phase this world card is the last card in the deck okay it means that the per, whoever this is for has been through a lot they've been through every card in the deck okay because every major arcana card it starts with a zero and then it goes to the world card it means you've been through it all now you're at the end all you need to do is accept it okay you need to accept it it's truly time for you to move on. Whoever is watching this, if you are stuck in a situation that you feel like you're a victim, you this is a victim card. If you feel like you're a victim, you're feeling like you can't move away from it because for some reason you can't let it go. You can't. This is saying to me that it's time to let it go and part of the lesson is for you to actually move on. There is a lesson here. There is. When this world card comes out, it means there is a lesson that has been learned or needs to be learned. Okay? This is the month of December. So I think for many of you watching this, you've reached the finish line. You've reached the finish line and you've closed the door and you're moving on. Okay? Some of you have not. Some of you are still in that period of depression, anguish, feeling dead inside. Okay, and because you're feeling that way, you're focusing on everything but love. You're focusing on your job, you're focusing on your career, you're burying yourself in everything but feeling love. Okay, all right, so that's the way it is for some of you. Um, the fact is, is you need to take control of your emotions. You need to take control of your emotions. That's the first card that came out, this emperor card. Your wisdom comes from within, okay? It does. This also tells me that many of you are focused on materialistic um, things, the first card, that's the emperor. The emperor is very materialistic. This is part of your lesson. However it fits, whether it's the other person or it's you, this, uh, this is part of the lesson. There may be regrets over choosing your job over a partner, I'm not sure, okay, because we have partnership here too as well. So there could be regrets over that, could be regrets over choosing money over or material possessions over love, okay, there could be regrets, I'm just saying. You could have rejected love because of um, 
materialistic things. The emperor is very materialistic. I just have to tell you, it's also the sign of Aries. I'm going to tell you who we have here now. We have Aries. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, which is you are right here. And then we have Cancer here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn right beneath you. So I believe that you are dealing with, you're feeling a loss over somebody who um, you felt was very practical, somebody that was very feminine, motherly, um, kind, generous, probably a little hot-headed, okay? You could also be dealing with a fire sign, somebody who is very passionate. There's a lot of people here in this reading, so there could have been a th third-party situation as well. I just have to throw that out there. Um, so let's get back to the signs. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aries again. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have a Cancer again. We have Taurus a couple times. Taurus up there and Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn right here. Um, and that's who we have so far. But I feel like many of you are going through a feeling of loss. You are feeling a lot of depression. And I think that many of you have some regrets or you feel rejected. All right. And you're just working on focus on focusing on everything but, okay, but. Let's just focus on my job. I'm going to focus on more materialistic things, you know, because I don't want to think about love right now. And you may have regrets over that. And part of your lesson has to do with um, materialistic things. I just have to tell you that. I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down on this, but I, it is. It's very materialistic. So whatever it is, it's materialistic. Um, focusing too much on work, focusing too much on not love, not focusing enough on extending your love and opening up. Okay, if you are if you are hard hearted, you know you're not able to give love freely. I feel like you you really need to be able to open up. I do. And I think a door has closed that has really shattered many of you emotionally. This is December 2017, but like I said, time is fluid. I'm sorry this is not the most positive reading. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. But I am here to speak the truth. I am not going to tell you this is all peaches and cream in unicorns and butterflies if it is not. Because it is not unicorns and butterflies in your life right now. It's about your finances. It's about your job. It's about money. It's not about love. This is still a month of focusing on everything but love. And you can sit there and tell me that you're looking for love. But this reading that I am giving you is telling me that you are not. And I think you have regrets about that. And you may have regrets because you were, were rejected. I'm not sure. And you may have been rejected because of materialistic things. Okay. Many of you um, seriously need to listen to your inner guide. Okay. Listen to your inner guide. I'm just shuffling this next deck for you, okay? You're probably seeking guidance right now. That's why you're here, obviously. But I think that some of you are really seeking guidance, and I think it's from above, okay? You're seeking guidance from above, hoping for the answers to come. purpose. This is for December 2017. And one of the things I wanted to bring out is we have three nines. Okay. Nines are about closing a door. That's why I brought that up so many times. Okay. The door has closed to something. All right. And now it's time for you to do what's right for you, by the way, with this hair font. And if it's letting the door close, then let it close. Because 
feeling this way that you're feeling inside with this Four of Swords, this Nine of Swords, this Four of Swords, this Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, feeling like a victim, feeling like you're trapped in a situation, feeling like you're dead inside, isn't going to help you in any way. It's not. You can't move forward emotionally until you free yourself from this situation, okay? You have to let whatever it is go or change it or change it. And you change it by mastering your emotions. Maybe you need to be m more open with your emotions. I see that many of you are, you master your emotions by holding it in. Okay, there's blockages here. There is. You hold in your feelings. You hold in your emotions instead of letting it out. We're going to get to the card now. It says life purpose life purpose the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others don't worry about finding your purpose instead focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you life purpose I think over the past year, there was a lesson that has been learned. And I think it had a lesson. It was a lesson in regards to love or money or love or job. You know, I do. And I think that's the lesson. Some of you haven't gotten there yet. And I'm sure I'll get some thumbs down on this. So, but it doesn't matter because I'm here to speak the truth. I'm not here to give you a fairy tale. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, by the way. Okay? I'm not here to give you a fairy tale ending. I'm here to give you the truth. If you are looking for love, because there's not love here, then you need to be able to open up. So this is what I have for Pisces for December 2017. And a happy new year. <laughs>